scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The presence of God is mighty in this place. The power of God is moving already in front here like a river. It's like a river. We will curse those devils because God is here. Hmm. Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Spirit of the living God, we thank you. Of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. Lay your hands on your chest. I want to rebuke that devil. Please, I want you to believe there is authority in this place. There is not just power. There is authority. There is a big difference between authority and power. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your chest. Lord Jesus, thank you for your anointing. In the name of Jesus, I bring these bodies under the influence of this anointing. And in the name of Jesus, I command the works of darkness to be gone now. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. These are not Joshua Selman's hands. These are hands empowered by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the authority of the kingdom. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer a sacrifice. Out! Go! Let her go now. Out! As I pray for you, go back to your seat and check yourself. God is healing you. Out! Now! Be healed. Be healed. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of this kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. You wicked spirit, let her go never to return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your stomach. I set you free by the authority of the kingdom. Be free now. You wicked spirit, Tago. Now I challenge you. I see you in the spirit and I command you to go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. set free in the name of Jesus Christ be set free in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah hallelujah we will remain a threat to Satan as long as God grants us that privilege we will never allow him find expression in the life of the people. Listen, miracle services are not the only services where God touches people. Any service is a miracle service. Are you getting my point? It's just for organization. That's why you see us do the things that we do. We just set aside one week. But that does not mean God can flow any day, any time, change what he needs to change even if it is for the sake of one person god can interrupt a service and say somebody came hungry we are not religious people to just say it must go this way hallelujah it must go god's way if god wants us to begin to pray for the sick and speak into the life of people that's what we are going to do hallelujah you came praying and let me tell you god had your prayer and he will only respond according to your prayer not according to a church program if there is someone who the spirit of death is upon for instance god is not going to allow that happen just because we need to teach a series and allow somebody go back and die god is too loving he can interrupt the bible says when he as he taught the power of god was present to heal hallelujah so when you important very very important there's is it a gentleman or a lady that came you sent me a text you're coming from somewhere else not zaria who's the person come quickly from where my dear abuja the lord will visit you come believe Things will so change in your life from this night, it will surprise you. Pro Prophecy is not just about calling names and numbers. It makes sense. It doesn't make sense if it does not come to pass. The beauty of prophecy is result, not flamboyancy. Are you getting me? I can quote everything and tell you this will happen and it doesn't happen. That's nonsense. You just clap for film show. The power of prophecy is the force that makes it happen. Are you getting my... Let this wicked spirit leave this girl now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm seeing a lot of oppression. Not even just you, your family. Your family, is that true? This is even one of the reasons why you came. Where's your mother? In Oka now. She'll be in Oka. We have to pray. We have to pray for you. Huh? We have to pray so that the devil will not start, they will not start telling you so and so is happening to your stomach. We need to pray. Are you married? You want to get married? Why are you afraid? Was that not part of your request? God is going to visit you. It doesn't matter what your request is here. 
we are not a what if it's marriage say marriage don't sit down well look let me tell you this is like a factory are you getting my point this is not a lecture hall this is where god dethrones principalities and powers over people's lives money enters your hand but it lists and this is your family they suffer this same thing true to be very rich but things scatter. yes then it's the same pattern now with us the grandchildren we need to pray all right and we're going to break that nonsense right here right now you believe it i know that you're coming from abuja you met a lot of people right honestly i tell you god is in this place my dear god is in this place we say it with all humility he's not just here but his authority and his presence is in this place jesus we lift up your name and we break everything that is not of god i set you free right now in the name of jesus christ you will rise up you will return and you will encounter the power of god in unusual ways Every life siege over your life is broken and we open a new chapter everything that is not of god we take it behind you and we declare that before you becomes like a garden of eden in the name of jesus christ god bless you hallelujah be seated god bless you greet one another Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Did you greet yourselves? Please go ahead. Greet someone who is not you. Hallelujah. Two of you had dreams. Um you saw someone you know chasing you very seriously and you were running please two of those people see when god begins to interrupt me like this can we just flow is that okay mm. just play what you play mike you can put it on door now. please those two people i don't know who you are you saw someone pursuing you in your dream this is very serious this is not you know them there's one more person Sometimes I wish we have all the time to minister to people one by one. Maybe one day we'll, we'll make the BG service a night BG. Would that be fine? Honestly, so we we'll take time. It kills my spirit when I see that the, the time is limited. This is why we rush people like this so that we can come up. Because the truth is, there are many people who have issues and you know it's that if God locates you, that will truly be the end of it. It's just that time. Are you getting my point? Time. Time is a big factor. Time is a very big factor. Time is a big factor. Come. This lady, the one chewing your hand, you stand up Come. quickly, quickly. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and I'm wondering why he's standing close to you. You are going to be a woman of God, a very powerful woman of God. You will walk in the prophetic very, very powerfully. You will walk in the prophetic. People have not seen anything about you. You will rise in a very powerful way. And God is going to give you unusual unction. Father, let your word come through in her life. Give her unction. In the name of Jesus Christ, go. Turn not struggle. From today, we pray that you will experience the hand of God in very dramatic ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come. Your entire family needs deliverance. Huh? It's not just you. There's a cause of delay in your family. You may not believe. Listen, it is because Jesus is victorious that we can even identify things like this and address it. Are you getting my point? We have to pray. Hmm? If not, you are going to struggle. Are you a student? We need to pray. Huh? If not, you will struggle, not just academically, but everything. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. 
Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let him be free. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone and he's tying something like a bead. And this is what I see. The Lord setting the person free. Even in your family. Lord, set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come, brother. If I don't pray for you, the devil is going to afflict you with sickness. Very serious sickness. You believe that? Are you sick? I need to pray for you. Because it's going to be something... Um, it's going to start like ulcer, but it's going to get very serious. Hmm? And we must rebuke it once you... And that God wants your heart totally. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on your chest. Set him free by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Osha, Madam, come. It's you I need to pray for, not the person you are standing behind there is a lot going on in your family. There is hardship. Hardship. Because the Lord is showing me a vision. And I'm seeing like somebody is farming on a land. Farming on, on rocky ground. And nothing is burning. We must pray. You believe that? We have to pray. You people have suffered too much in your work. Nothing is working. As you are standing like this. Absolutely not that true. Nothing from everybody. Nothing is working. Even you, you are struggling. And this is a very, very demonic thing. You're a worker in this house and you're supposed to experience the hand of God. Father, we love our workers. Why should they go through this? Satan, I adjure you. Let her go now. She's a worker in this house. And she should be an epistle of the vision so that it will not look like we're faking this thing. My God, I pray that she will be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out of her now, that wicked spirit. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go now. I lay my hands and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her family go in the name of Jesus Christ. I release her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are living never to regain whatever gives you legal access by the blood we command that she is free let the doors be opened in the name of jesus christ doors of increase doors of plenty power by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah come let me pray for you if you are the only one who is prospering and your family members are not experiencing it you will not be happy do you understand? It should extend. We believe in family salvation here. That whatever is happening to you should happen to your loved ones. How many of you believe that? Praise the Lord. No matter how prosperous you are, if your family members are not getting blessed, your joy will not be complete. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let God visit your phonic thing, this demonic thing in your family. I curse it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please, let's hurry up so we can do this. Let me pray for you. I'm looking at a young lady. I'm seeing an old woman. What is all this? Where are you from? Eh? Enugu. I'm seeing a very old woman. As I'm looking at you, it's not your face that I'm seeing. I'm seeing another person's face and it's an old woman. And if we don't deal with this, it will stop you from getting married. You will be wondering, a very pretty lady moving around. Why? Why? You know, all these kind of things. Hmm? We're going to pray. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hmm? Hold my hands and let me pray for you. It's not your fault that you were born in your family, but it's your fault if you remain in that trouble. You must do something about it. Are you getting my point? Keep blaming. Many of us keep blaming our parents and all of that. It may not be their fault. They did the best that they know how to do. But now that you know the truth, you must contend for change. Are you getting me? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this lady be free from everything that is not of God. I set by the now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Why did she come out? Why did I ask him? Let me pray for you. The spirit of death. This is death. This is not even sickness. There are families that people keep dying, dying, and they meet a pastor and he says, all right, this is the last one that will happen. Then another one happens and he says, don't worry. Just give thanks in all things. You must deal with it. Once you see fire on the mountain, there's a saying in my language that if you see your neighbor's beard catching fire, don't wait till it catches your own. Find water quickly and soak your own. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. There are things I'll tell you, but I can't tell you here, right? But your relationship with God is very important. It's not just about receiving a miracle from God, but he must have your everything. Hallelujah. You, does it make sense to you what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense, right? Mm. Father, please visit this lady and visit her family. I separate you from every evil and every wickedness of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, let these attacks of darkness stop in Jesus' name. Brother, well done. Let me pray for you. You need revelation. Look at me. This is what you are lacking grossly in your life. You have desire. But desire is not enough in the kingdom. You need revelation. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? This is what you need at this phase. So you must contend for light and revelation. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I impart upon you the spirit of revelation. Let it come upon you and let it be mighty. You will understand the truths of God's word and may God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. Ah. Lord, allow us to teach tonight. Uh, Janet. Who is Janet, please? I'm hearing a name, Janet. Janet. You are Janet? Okay. Your mom. A man should not have a woman's name. Oh, your mother's. Okay. Janet. I'm seeing Janet. Kai, no. There is Janet in this place. Are you Janet? There is. Is it? I hope the person is here. This is how people miss out on their miracles. Janet. Janet. I will pray for you because you have come out, but I'm hearing it in my spirit. Janet. When God refuses, I refuse to because it means that there's something that he wants. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your elder sister was to get married. They, did, they even did introduction. And then something happened and they cancelled it. It was a very disappointing experience. Who is that? Please. They even did introduction. The guy came, saw your people. He started doing corner corner and everything just backfired. Please come quickly. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Hold on. There's someone you are writing jam tomorrow, but you've been having dreams seeing yourself in like a primary school or a school. Band. Who is that person? You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, it's going to be failure. You are going to fail the jam. Run, you are wearing blue. You are a lady. You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, you will fail the jam. Who, are you the one? You come. You are great. The devil wants you to fail this jam, and if we don't pray again, this one is not lack of studies. Are you getting my point? This is not lack of studies. You are writing jam too. I'll pray for jam people. Don't worry, jam will pray for you. The devil is in trouble tomorrow. You, but you come, let me pray for you since the word is for you. Look at me. We have to destroy this thing. Huh? What dream did you have? You see yourself failing again and again. Huh? Don't worry. The Lord is going to visit you. You believe that? Did you read? Mm. Let the angel of God's presence help you. 
because this jam sometimes is just the help of God it's not any long story you just need God to help you regardless of whether you understand what you are shading or not for the sake of his kingdom sometimes you just need to say help oh Lord help as simple as that praise God I know some of you are laughing you think it's a joking matter that's how God helped some of you you when you saw your result even you you knew that this was prophecy it's not any the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now God is working on your blood this is not even the issue of jam again God is changing your genotype hmm? is that true what's your genotype AA. Your genotype is AA. I'm seeing God changing your genotype. It's not AA. You think it's AA. It's AS. God is changing it to AA. You fall sick. You fall sick consistently. It's not AA. Your genotype is AS. I'm seeing AS and an arrow is drawing to AA. This is what God is changing. You believe that? Because even you, you are surprised why you fall sick. Your bones pain you now. Serious, just like a sickler. It's just that they've not told you you are SS because this is demonic. Hallelujah. Father, let her pass her jam and change her genotype. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just wait here. I think I'll just pray for jam people generally before we just start the message. Hallelujah. Disappointments for your sisters. Why are you crying? Please, my dear. It's okay. See, no matter what the issue is, I want you to believe that the Lord of heaven is in this place. When God locates you, he will solve your problem. Are you getting what I'm saying? And listen, once God has located one person, you don't need to wait until they call you. Are you getting my point? This is how to tap into prophecy. When God locates one person, you can sit where you are and say, Lord, I receive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if it's not for your sister, you can challenge yourself. So you must position yourself to receive. Let me pray for you. Father, what, why are you crying? Look at me. Why exactly are you crying? Let me just ask you. It's too much for my auntie. Your auntie, where is she? Come. I'm so touched. Why is she crying like this? Please, um, it's okay. Hmm? Let's not get... I can be emotional. I won't cry, but... <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't... Kai, this crying thing. I only cry when I'm worshiping God. But every other thing, I don't know why. People are crying and sometimes I'm saying, let these people not think I'm so hardened. I'm crying, but the tears. So... <laughs> I just found out that the best way to respond to my emotion is to solve the problems that cause it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is going to. Where's your auntie? She's at home. Where's home? Silver. She's just in silver close by. Why didn't she come? Invite her for miracle service. Will she come? She doesn't come to her. But let's pray for her. Father, please visit her auntie. In the name of Jesus. Let that spirit leave your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that family leave. Please, immediately I finish praying for them. If you are writing jam, come out. Let me just pray for you once so that we can. Am I boring you tonight? God is just flowing and I, I have a very powerful teaching but I think God just wants to, some of you have been praying and we've had the word but God needs to locate some people this night please just let it happen let's just let God flow that way why are you coming out, what's happening, hold on, hold on what's going on, jam okay, just stand where you are, you don't need to go back, let me just pray for these people hallelujah All we want is you Take over Take over Till we are consumed By nothing Nothing else but you Lord, visit our family in the name of Jesus Christ, let this plague of witchcraft be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister was disappointed. Oh, who? Yes, yeah, sure. What happened? I did the introduction, did everything. I 
did, there's a reason why I'm asking. God asked me to ask you. That's why. If not, I will just pray for you. They did the introduction. They did everything. And the relationship just ended like that. The guy ran away. What happened? I pray for you in this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies, may no man just come into your life, play games with you, make you to involve your parents. And then for whatever reason, go away. I separate you from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That anyone that has planned from day one, that he's just coming to play around with your life, may my God keep them far from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of these things may not even be that the guy is a bad guy. It's these demonic things that we deal with sometimes. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll pray for you. Jesus, you brought her out. Help her. Be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You too. Let me just pray for you very fast. I hope this is not what I'm going to do all through this night. Some of you are already praying. You are saying, God, it won't stop. Oh, he's already close to my... <laughs> Look, and let me tell you something. Truly, let me tell you something about the power of prophecy. You know, the Bible says that upon the throne there were seven eyes, and close to the eyes were thrones. That means anything you see, there is authority to conquer it. Seven eyes and seven horns. Once the eye of the Lord can locate your situation, there is authority to conquer it. Are you getting my point? But then it doesn't just mean that if your case is not mentioned, you must force yourself and say, no, you can receive because the word of God is also prophetic. Hallelujah. Your sister too, or your auntie, or you. Huh? Who? Ah. That's a long story. Oh God, have mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I wish there was special time. I had time to counsel because some of these things, I can't say them openly, but look at me. There are certain things you think are disadvantages, but they are the mercy and the deliverance of God. That's just what I will tell you. Do you understand parables? Father, have mercy on this lady and bless her in Jesus' name. Don't call everything evil. You need the eye of the spirit to know. Because some of you, what you call disappointment would have been the best gift of God to you. It's just that it's the future that will make you appreciate it. That's why the Bible says in everything, give thanks. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of Jesus. Where are your people? Because your family needs the hand of God. Hmm? This is not just the issue of prayer for one person. Father, please help this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evil must stop. Leave the family now. Let the family go. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for the sister. Visit her. Let her marriage be successful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The Lord is lifting the yoke over your family and the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that the morning comes for your family your family has suffered a lot tell them the morning comes in the name of jesus christ thank you my brother look at me where are you from kaduna you are from makodi there is a lot of witchcraft 
in your family. But Father, I pray tonight that this thing will end in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Hallelujah. Jam. Jam, I'm very serious. Please, don't come here joking. Come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam. Jam, come out. It will take the power of God for some of you. All of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam. If there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Shekata ba 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 kata prekete bela de box. Nekete te ba kata bala da box. Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. The number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam. I, it troubled my spirit and I said, Lord, why are people failing jam like this? Is it because all of, I know some of you didn't read, you have just been playing around. But there are people who have been serious. And almost all the people I prayed for, for jam, I had to cast out devils from them. And then it, it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently. Hallelujah. And we need to pray this night. Because some of you, the truth is, the way you are standing now, you are not even ready for the jam. Let's just tell the truth and shame the devil. So, the mercy of God can take you through where you would not even be able to. Do you believe in the mercy of God? Because that's the only prayer I want to pray for you now. The mercy of God is not just for sinners. Hallelujah. Some of you, this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times five times six graduated you are still graduated you are still graduated you are still there we need to take it seriously hallelujah and to pray so i'm going to pray for you lift your hands if it's a demonic thing that devil must go hallelujah thank you jesus christ father this is what you have made this house become a place of breakthrough and in the name of Jesus I pray listen lift your hands all of you I'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you as I pray you will know that for some of you it's demonic forces that have been stopping you Jesus we lift up your name Jesus we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Now I'm going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here by the power of the Lord resident in this house, I command those devils of darkness release god's people now 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 by the power of the holy ghost every act of divination every spirit that wants to make you fail jam in the name of jesus i curse it i curse it out of them now out of them now out of them now for those of you standing for your loved ones i command that power to leave you 
that power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail i challenge it right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding may that angel of the lord go with you as you write your job in the name of jesus christ i release angels now i release angels from the throne of mercy may they go with you as you shed may they go with you i release angels in the name of jesus i release angels as you write where you do not know may they still guide you in the name of jesus where your strength fails may the strength of elohim take you through in the name of jesus christ your resort will not be withheld in the name of jesus christ every spirit of fear in this place fear of repetition of what happened last year i command that spirit of fear go 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 i cause fear go go out now go let boldness come upon you let boldness every devil that says you cannot do it fear out of them out of them for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is banished from your life let the heart of a lion be given to you you will go and you will succeed you will go and you will prosper you will go and you will excel i command this devil i see a spirit in this lady is already positioned to destroy her tomorrow i command out out now out now she must pass the job i command you to leave in the name of jesus out now in the name of jesus jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the lord jesus christ out of her now you are a wicked spirit i know this lady personally and i know how much she has struggled i know how much she studies i had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hardworking. listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of god i know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when god steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of jesus or if you are standing in for someone i receive courage I receive wisdom I receive an anointing to excel tomorrow I go with the backing of heaven I write my jam with the backing of heaven I refuse to fear I will excel in the name of Jesus father I pray for your people may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of jesus 
you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission i prophesy it if i be a servant of god there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my god give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your results for good in the name of jesus christ and i announce to every power you have no right over god's people i put a wall of fire over their lives as they write jam you will write it under an open heavens in the name of jesus christ you will write it under an open heavens god bless you please go back rejoicing thank you jesus christ ah my spirit is already charged goodness my spirit is boiling with anger right now all those who are trusting God for jobs, come out and stand here. E bro shekete te ba rekete reke ba rabosko parikete lente bosko patikata elekete bosko si ba 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 ba. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you, my spirit is. Fired up tonight. I don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage, but I'm angry in my spirit tonight. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Look at the number of people trusting God for jobs. There's got to be a way of helping God's people. Are you getting my point? There, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people. Let me tell you something. If we cannot help God's people, there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity. Are you getting my point? We have no right to stop somebody from to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and god cannot help you i came i prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist hallelujah we're going to pray the bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against judah some of you graduated with excellent results you have served but your result is like a piece of paper we need to break that power let me tell you it is not by power i taught it in the message give me this mountain there is a lot more there is a lot more please lift your hands there are two things i'm going to do i'm going to rebuke this spirit for many of you there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise you've gone to school but it's as if you are still in primary school even if you are outside no problem just hang on there with faith
God is doing a very prophetic thing tonight. I'm about to rebuke these powers and as I take authority over them, the fire of God is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil. You will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you. My God, I thank you. I give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Father, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit at the count of three, let every devil and every enchantment, every act of divination responsible for joblessness. My God, at the count of three, may your fire move through and tear down altars right now. One, two, three, touch now, 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 now. I cause powers, I cause powers, I cause powers. Shake a table, help them ushers. I cause powers in the name of Jesus. I set them on fire. Let the fire of God move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names. We set it on fire now. We set it on fire now. Hallelujah. Years ago, I had a story. There was someone who wanted to go to NDA. And there is a certain height that they take. And the person was too short. So they told the person, we cannot take you. So the news got to the Emir. When the news got to the Emir, he sent the guy with a message. He said, go and tell the people that the Emir has added his height. And they took him. Did you hear that word? He said, go and tell them that the Emir added the height of the short person. We are going to pray. I don't want to know what the deficiency is. Are you getting my point? In the name that is a, please believe. Please believe. See, some of you are already used to intellect so much. You don't know the power of the spiritual. Otherwise, you will struggle forever. And you will find out that things are not changing. Because some of you are standing for your loved ones. They have been praying. Praying. In the name of Jesus. I command doors of miracle jobs right now. I command doors of miracle jobs right now. Everywhere you have dropped your CV. I move the angels of the Lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it. I pray, let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate, humanly speaking, you may not get a job. My God, because of the anointing he has put in your life, let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are walking but the work you are doing is like slavery in jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your cvs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing I don't think we're wasting our time this night god is visiting issues and i'm very happy about it hallelujah the next set of people the lord is ministering 
that I call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out 10 times tonight don't worry Greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father you reign, great are you Lord, greatly to be praised. Honestly, I really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for Koinonia because what God is doing in this place, I know that there is an unusual anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, those of you standing, please listen. Don't get too used to just coming out and going back. Listen to me, please. My Bible tells me that children are a heritage from the Lord. Are you getting me? Children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness. Look up, please. Jesus looked at a tree. What did he do to the tree to be barren? That means what is responsible for barrenness? Is that true? Jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren. He looked at the tree. He didn't advise the tree. He caused the tree. So how do you reverse barrenness? Are you listening to me? Jesus looked at a tree that was bearing, at least it had leaves. Are you getting my point? And he caused it. How did he cause it? By making pronouncements. Did he rub charcoal on the tree? He just made pronouncements. Listen. Job said, that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men. You know what the scourging tongues of men? The scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements. We live in a generation where we do not know the power of words. We confess, we talk it, we run around. But when a word is spoken with an anointing, whether it is demonic or of God, the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect. Otherwise, it will hit you. Now, listen. I want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid. Because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth. They now tell the man he's impotent, low sperm count, or whatever kind of medical terminology. Huh? And then for the lady, they now say she's barring fibroid, maybe some cysts or a womb something has happened and now please if you're a doctor here don't don't i'm not i'm not against you don't be offended i'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence are you getting my point because this is purely spiritual look at me a lot of people take in most people you see i counsel people all the time it's not what i read in a book it's what i have seen Hallelujah. The woman takes in. Huh? And then when she takes in, you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream. Oftentimes. And another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen. She will wake up in the morning with blood. She's lost the child. Or all kinds of demonic, satanic things. But the Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. That means there are handwritings and there are ordinances. But the Bible says, blotting it out. Hallelujah. 
Do you believe the prayer we are going to pray tonight? Because we are going to deal with this thing. There are some, the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions. They've done everything they can do. But the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And God opened the womb of Rachel. And God opened the womb of Leah. Whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for. I like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I declare that my womb is open. Open to receive and open to give birth normally. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. You'll be surprised at what will happen here now. Then you will know that nothing just happens. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My God, you are the one doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing. You need to step in for families. We can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive. Lift your hands, please. There are lots of chains that will be broken right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Whether for yourself or those you are standing, at the count of four, just four counts, because I see angels with swords. Lord, let the chains be broken. One, two, three, four. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I cause barrenness. I cause it. I cause it. I command a blessing. Every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus. Every barren womb be opened in the name of Jesus. Everyone called barren. All the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs. We command miracle children. We command miracle babies. I come against the spirit of miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of miscarriage. Every fibroid in every womb, I curse you. You will pass out now. Everyone carrying any growth, any tumor, any cyst in the name of Jesus, whether for you or your loved ones, I curse it. Fibroids go, fibroids go without surgery. Fibroids go in the name of Jesus Christ. Any medical complication associated with this barrenness, we change it now. For those who do not have wombs, we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost. This night, we give them new wombs. Every damaged womb, we are not praying for healing. We create a new one by the word of God that created the heavens and the earth. That nine months from now, there will be celebration of miracle children. I prophesy it. I decree it. Let the power of God bring it to pass. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I'm led to pray. Listen, this is a special prayer. And please don't be emotional about it. There are certain people here, you're having acute academic challenges. It's not because you are dull. Your own has become a serious issue. You know you need prayer. March out quickly. 
march out quickly. If you are ashamed, sit down on your seats here. There are people who are serious. You came here tonight. Your results were released for some of you. And you know that your academics is in a state of emergency. Come out here. Let's deal with this thing once and for all. Can you play strings? We refuse to believe that you are dull. The devil is a liar. Please come quickly. Find your way. Just come here. Let's save time. Goodness. Pass eight. If this is all we do today, no problem. Hallelujah. If this is all we do today, no problem. Next week is a powerful communion service. We'll be having communion and I'll be laying hands on everybody. Everybody who comes. I'm going to be laying hands on everybody. Praying in tongues and speaking. Hallelujah. I'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood. Hallelujah. It's going to be a powerful communion service. We'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again. I'm going to lay hands on everybody. Hallelujah. Things must change. We are going to force things to change. Hallelujah. Please, if you can find your way, come in. I, I want to see you, but if you cannot, no problem. We need to rebuke academic issues. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you something. Not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious. Out of him. Now. Come out. I hear the chains falling. Falling. Oh, oh. I hear the chains falling. You must let him go. You are a wicked spirit. I hear the chains falling. See, that power must let you go this night. That power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. How many of you have had so many people telling you? I was the best student in my secondary school. I was very good. Some of you here, as you are standing, you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going. Because if you tell people, they will not believe. You were exceptional people. But as soon as you stepped in, something happened. Some of you literally, during exam, this thing they call exam fever, and people laugh about it. They've even given it a name, exam fever. It's a wicked and demonic thing. What is exam fever? It's not because of tension. You wrote Wayek, you wrote Jam, you entered the university. See, the, the reason, can I tell you something? Listen, the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through. So they just keep quiet. They go to church on Sunday and they rejoice. They go to church weekdays. They rejoice. But the truth is this. See, my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving God more. But the sincere truth is these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about God. Is that true? It's not enough to just say love God. He said, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Take us back to our land. And we'll sing the Lord's song. How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? It's very difficult. Hallelujah. There are some of you right here. You are the only ones in your family that are in school. And the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means. It's because she's part of that word that I just said. That's why. Hallelujah. There are some of you, they are saying if you don't do well, you will just go and get married because this is your thing. It's like you are not moving anywhere. Marriage is not a quick way of escaping. It's not escapism. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you. And oh, see, the Bible says that Jesus opened up their understanding. 
that means it can be locked are you getting my point jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you many preachers may not tell you this they will just criticize and say this you are an embarrassment to redemption you are not an embarrassment to redemption it's because of you redemption happened are you hearing what i'm saying and right now i want to prophesy and speak over your life lift your hands please in one minute talk to the lord and say lord i've been struggling with this thing now you have located me please solve this problem please pray some of you are absolutely intelligent we refuse to believe that you are dull kick away that thing i don't care what your results have said Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Let me pray. Of course, there are spirits that are responsible. Some of you listen. What you need is to get serious. As simple as that. For some of you, that's all you need. You don't need any deliverance. You just need to obey the principles of diligence. See yet a man diligent. You are not diligent. You need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well. Some of you, what you need is humility. You are not doing well and you are very arrogant. You won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you. In this kingdom, you must be humble. Are you getting me? For some of you, is inferiority complex. Because you went to a secondary school where you used stone. And you, you sat down and the blackboard, somebody holds you. So what? So what about that? And you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody. I can't speak English very well. I'm not as fine as they are. Other people attended Queen's College. And us, we attended school that we are the people that were building the school. As we are attending the lecture. <laughs> so you feel discouraged. No. Tonight I cancel that pronouncement over your life. Lift your hands. Let me pray and rebuke those spirits now. Thank you, Jesus. Please help me with the symbol. At the count of three, I'm going to pray. Goodness. I'm telling you, the fire of God is going to come on a very, in a very mighty way. Lord Jesus, every power holding your academics at the count of three, I set them on fire. One, two, three. Take it now. Leave them. I command those powers be taken from your academics. I rebuke those spirits of failure inferiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though weeping and just for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a dream though it be cut off at the scent of water this night i command every academic dry bone come alive come alive come alive come alive every spell every divination over your academics i set you free now 
in the name of Jesus whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel I cause that prophecy I cause that word I bless you I bless you prosper I bless you I bless you in the name of Jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah anyone called God anyone called God there's nobody that God created that is God anyone called God I change that testimony tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the balm that is in Gilead tonight others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life but I prophesy to you you can rise again are you hearing me listen some of you are starting afresh they have laughed at you but start the hand of God will go with you in no time you will pursue you will overtake and that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you may they see you in your glory may they see you in your glory and when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream and our hearts were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord has done great things for us he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh god like the streams of the negative lord i pray you turn around situations here tonight turn around situations oh god there are some of you this is your last session to do well in that department and if you don't do well they may withdraw you i pray by the mercies of the god of david oh god remember those you died for let a book of remembrance be open tonight may you rise miraculously out of probation hear me and anyone here who has been unjustly treated that the sincere truth is that your result now you are holding what is not your own may the lord of sabaoth the one who avenges for men may that god avenge for you that anyone who has victimized you because of your christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity let the lord of sabaoth arise in the name of jesus christ thank you for lifting thank you for lifting please go back to your seat thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting my head. God is really dealing with issues tonight. I'd like you to just settle down I'm just don't mind me if you're coming here for the first time tonight please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it hallelujah how many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight whatever prayer you prayed this week God had you maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow they have shaken the heavens Venga. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough i just came and mounted the stage and god said no way hallelujah 
Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a special set of people right now. Um, there are families. Please, can you hear me outside? Can you hear me say amen? Okay, God bless you. Thank you. There are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything. How many of you know what I mean? I don't just mean rebellious. You have some people that even the community around you is tired of. Parents drag their children and bring them for counseling. Once I see a mother enter and I see her son following, I know that this son has caused headache. Are you getting me? The church is the light of every city. If for now, we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest, we can rehabilitate these stubborn children. That's a, st a place to start. There are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves huh? it's not just guys guys and ladies some of you you are here as i mentioned the case don't just stand for somebody you know that there's this spirit in you it's called the spirit of rebellion there are some of you who still no matter what happened listen we are a family tonight koinonia is not where everybody says tell them or point accusing fingers everybody has something is trusting god to bring him out of are you getting my point so this is a family in this place tonight there are people who have struggled with this rebellious spirit some of you even beat up your loved ones you are a lady but when that thing comes upon you you can even beat somebody as 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 big as kenny or shedrach and then later you just cool down They'll say what happened you say they made me angry you need deliverance quickly let me just tell you praise god now don't get when i talk of deliverance i'm not necessarily talking of turning your head you need a separation between you and that spirit let's define what we call deliverance here so that you don't just think i mean go and fast for 12 days do this uh -uh. what is happening every time the word comes is able to deliver hallelujah so whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself there are some of our brothers here you you love god or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom but this rebellious spirit even you you cannot explain together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking this is a strange night praise god we are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and god i'm going to pray this is not an altar call this is a call to say lord I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and say, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing, is in your own life, not that of your brother. Whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 
95% of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people, every time I talk with them, some of them begin to cry and they tell me in all sincerity, I don't like it. Are you getting me? There are ladies here, weak. There is no weak. You don't follow a man to sleep with him. You are born again. You even pray in tongues. People have told you it's all right. You are the righteousness of God. But you know that that theology is not, it's not, it's true that you are the righteousness of God. But something is happening in your life that is negating that. And it must be dealt with. There are some of our brothers, you love God. Some of you still, as anointed as you are, once you just sit down, a spirit tells you exactly where the place is. And you go and carry it. They give them every kind of scientific name. I don't care what the name is. It must bow this night. Are you getting what I'm saying? When I finish, then I'll prophesy over everybody. Everybody must go home with something this night. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, those of you standing in front for our time, I'll pray with you very quickly. I'm not going to ask you what the issue is. But I want you to believe. Listen. There are some of you, your own issue is money. Once you see money, hi. You don't, it's like an anointing comes on you. Once you see money, the issue of born again is out of the way. Please, I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue. That's what has stopped some of you from getting married. You have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire, he should back to sender. You keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it. If you've been laughing about it, let me challenge you. You better hear what I'm saying and take it as the voice of God. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with God blessing you with a millionaire. But everybody starts somewhere. It's only the grave that you start digging from the top. Every other thing you start from under. Hallelujah. I'm going to agree with you. And those spirits will leave you. You will go back home a changed person. And you will find out that those lost. See, do you know the... Listen, let me tell you. You are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you. If you are still enduring and using willpower, you need prayers. Are you getting me? There are men who are not sleeping with ladies, but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely. That one look, it will take one week, recovery of one week. You will reboot your spiritual life again. You need prayers. Don't let anybody tell you it's normal. Everybody's like that. Then what is the purpose of the power of the Holy Spirit? If we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of God is real, something can happen to you. Are you getting my point? Or you are not stealing. You've not carried it. It's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet. But once you are still struggling with the urge for something, you need prayers. As simple as that. Never convince yourself that everything is over yet. Once you find out that there is something still pushing you, you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house. He just calls you and says, Ah, I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one koinonia message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. Let me see. Okay. I'll just pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Once I as I lay my hands on you, just begin to confess that you are free. Free. Go. Leave her now.
that power go in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go. Send you. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. Go. Out. Be free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who are smokers, make sure you join them. I'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking, Indian hemp, Benelin, we we everything, join them. I don't care what it is. Once you are smoking something, you need prayers. I'm serious about it, please. I don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking, join them. Is this spirit of rebellion? Go ahead, worship him. Help I won't go back. I won't go back. Out. 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 Jesus Christ, I set you free. And right now, in the name of out, out. Right now is the moment. Today is the day. I've been changed. I've been changed. I have waited. I have You are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally just pray for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rate does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. 
this is what apostolic reformation is all about it's not just speaking grammar that you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle something must happen to your loved ones wait and see after this prayer some of them will follow you for miracle service those who have vowed that they won't come you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation they took your name to prophets nothing happened hallelujah listen i have a very serious word of advice maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it but let me say some things very clear sex outside marriage is sin everybody say noted so that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it i'm taking this issue very seriously sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin forget about your past are you getting what i'm saying i'm not condemning you past is past number two stealing money from people your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life i don't care what revelation of redemption you have you keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken are you getting what i'm saying brothers we we Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codeine. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one, they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. That's spiritual. Are you getting me? A time will come we are going to organize a service and bring these people and you will see the power of God setting these people free there's no need just talking out they are the ones stealing around and if we really want the crime rate to reduce and we want to them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things they must be delivered this is not just the issue of police station this is the issue of the power of God then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday but there is what we call apostolic reformation there is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are hallelujah praise God come please take a powerful worship Sam just take a powerful worship as I pray for these people how many people are left here all right, let me. If I pray for you, please just step back so that I just finish up with these people very quickly. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I don't care what the issue has been. If you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello, ladies. If you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say, the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher. Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman. Because you have money. And then you think you are married. You are a big boy. And this, let's stop these things. Somebody has got to talk. Hallelujah. So that God can now bless you. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will heal their, will, will forgive their sins and heal their land. Hallelujah. Sam, please. Any song? Okay, let's pray quick. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. I set you free. everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem you can even call police to come and flog them they can jail them for one week they will come out and repeat the same thing but you try the power of god and see what will happen lift your hands let me pray for you father this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform and in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of Jesus. I declare that beginning from tonight, may the Lord begin to convict their hearts. May they be born again and mightily used by God. I prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by God. 
we choose to see the goal that is in them we choose to see the great destiny we declare that their lives are not useless no matter how much they have wasted their life my god gives them another chance in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i've prayed for them on your own path as much as you can talk to them listen it's not just to bring them for koinonia you are anointed you have been using cane to flog them one day get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house you will see the drama of the power of god see this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you if all you are taking back is koinonia messages they will be blessed but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat quickly one last category and we are done for tonight goodness please don't miss next week's communion service I already sense that God is doing very, very, very mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, I don't want you to just come out emotionally. Hallelujah. Whether you are inside or outside. If you run a business, if you have a business, whether it's a family business or it's your own i'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around you know that whether it's a family business whatever it is from poultry to whatever and you think that you want to see the hand of god in your business and that of your family members please i'm begging you let's save time hallelujah if you belong to that category you know that you just need the touch of god i want you to come out and stand here trust him trust him that god will do something please the sound Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. It may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting. You are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you, will be on deficit. But you need you is it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there but let me tell you listen listen you must get up and do something the man with one talent sat down for somebody in this place this is the message god is telling you if you if you are afraid of doing business you can start a poultry at least what is wrong with three or four of you listen i'm very serious just just stop this let me press this thing down praise god what is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50 50 thousand naira together huh i'm buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you 
you bought a phone of 70,000 naira. That's your destiny there. You are holding it on your hand and moving around. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. It's better than sitting down. Oh God, Jordan is here. Oh, Jordan, wave your hand. Oh God, Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to... to you see that? Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it. And we'll pay you for it. We won't say you're a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You. And you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what you are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt and then we'll, we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything they have said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. 
I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of what I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You must be blessed in life. It takes audacity, it takes guts. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plat? I know Selena plats. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plat. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes and you believe you are prepared to stand, we are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook, we will say, we'll pray, we'll send you away. We will pray for you. If you become a headache, we will send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably, we will clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make um, maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that? How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at. I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around, but there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. That cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin. On your, we won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say, I'll be excellent. How many of you fried chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky fried chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky fried chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing uh, every, no, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades. You are, uh, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. <laughs> Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe. In one day, what our salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small. But you too cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we would take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. 
package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, it was you, Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, Capita, Capita, hold on. How many of you know about you win? At least you win is not a scam. We all know that is genuine. How many of you applied? You see that? Whereas there are people I know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals. 10 million naira, not debt, grant that the government is giving. And let me tell you, they are very fair. I know some of our people here who got it. And I know they are very fair and genuine. How about submitting a proposal? Or at least partnering with somebody else. You can partner with somebody else. By the time the money comes, so a few of our people here got, got it. Brothers and sisters, let's wake up. God is talking to us. Hallelujah. Let's not just be falling down. Take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that. And then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadubelo University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at. And there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. Why don't you prepare a proposal? Three or four of you. Don't just choose people because they are Christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me headache here. Use financial intelligence. Are you getting me now? So that somebody, because I'm aware that in a crowd like this, there are all kinds of people. Don't let anybody come in the name of the Lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things. No. But with proper financial intelligence, some of you here, you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30000 whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. An ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1000 a bit 2000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. 
You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough? Have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. One five. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians. Times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. You say, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have, there are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, Somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada. That they were able to put something on ground. Because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around. And people are not buying design something decent how many brothers dress well here there are some of you who can sell nice suits you may not be able to afford certain levels maybe 30 000, 40 50 100 but you can start small many brothers here don't know where they sell suits why don't you bring it closer home hallelujah some of you draw how many of you draw you are painters or you are artists you, you did very well. You are one of the best students now in your... Have you tried to do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday, you can say, I can point, paint your picture. 30,000 people are selling one of those artworks. Have you done anything? So let's stop blaming God when we have not taken any step. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands. Thank you, Jesus. As we lift our hands in worship, as we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name, for you are there. So great, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for your people by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon every business in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that your businesses will rise beyond these limits. From the realm of thousands, we take it to the realm of millions. From the realm of millions, we take it to tens of millions and hundreds of millions and billions in the name of Jesus.
for those of you trusting God for creative ideas may my God give you creative ideas in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who started and failed I bring a word of encouragement go back again re-strategize and go back again and may my God lift your hands this time around in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray that your products and your services whatever it is that you have to do beginning from Zaria here or whatever your locality is may the Lord announce it for you in the name of Jesus Christ may the spirit of excellence come upon you that you will package and design your products with top quality and excellence and may it bring you abundance may it bring you plenty in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke the spirit of fear fear of failure fear of loss fear of defeat I curse it in the name of Jesus I command every dry bone in this place to come at life leave again all the ideas all the partnerships all the sponsorships all the endorsements that you need to rise from where you are to the next level may my God give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus may my God give it to you hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat quickly let's celebrate Jesus Christ keep standing as I make the altar call hallelujah I'm sorry for tonight I couldn't teach God just took it in another dimension and we give him all the praise it doesn't happen all the time but we thank him because I know that so many testimonies will come here please don't be afraid to come share your testimonies hallelujah now you're here in this place I know we've been standing please let's stand one more time just to honor those who will come into the kingdom right now hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah now you came to this place tonight and you heard me talk about different areas and there are some of us tonight that will be saying man of God I want you to help me I'm tired of living my life the way I want I've never really made a decision for Jesus Christ or there are some of you who have made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ but for some reason you have derailed and you want to come back to Christ you want to lay aside all kinds of habits we have prayed and you're saying Lord give me a fresh start right now please wherever you are inside or outside I would like to pray with you find your way to the front right now celebrate them as they come don't be afraid God bless you God bless you it's not the only one please wherever you are I want you to come inside and outside inside and outside the Lord is giving you a new beginning tonight don't sit back don't be ashamed of anyone God bless you God bless you Jesus is calling you God bless you a new experience is a new day for you it's a new day for you God bless you keep coming they are coming from outside celebrate them God bless you God bless you God bless you hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for taking the boldness to come out your life will never be the same it all starts with Jesus hallelujah from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you Lift your hands, all of you here, and say after me, Jesus, I love you with all my heart. Tonight, I repent of my sins. Change me, build me, make me, and use me for your glory. I declare, and I make up my mind that I will walk with you forever. I denounce sin and Satan. I receive eternal life in my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Make me a great person. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones. You brought them out by your power. Sustain them. Their lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus. From today, they begin a journey forward ever and backward never. I give you all the praise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. May God bless you. Now, I want you to just follow the ushers, the guys with the tags. Just follow them and they'll have your details. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those worshiping with us for the first time, I'd like you to stand up and please come out here. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please come out. We celebrate you. Celebrate all of them. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Those outside, don't sit back. If this is your first time, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Joseph, good to see you. Give me five. Hallelujah. We're neighbors. We're neighbors in Joss. I'm happy to see him. Hallelujah. He was a student of Futmina. Thank you, Jesus. We're happy to see every one of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Some of you came from far and near. And the Lord will bless and increase you in the name of Jesus. Whatever your desires are, I want to assure you that they will be met in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same because the Lord brought you here to bless you and to increase you. We honor you, we celebrate your grace, and we thank you for coming. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.